all like to hope that the children in our lives were able to distinguish between good and bad, right and wrong. But sometimes, the ways we go about teaching them these things aren't always the best, and don't always give them the space where they are able to actually understand the difference between the two. Let's think for a second of a situation where we had to differentiate between good or bad, right or wrong for a child. What were some of the words that you used? And what was the outcome of the conversation or the interaction that you had? Picture this. You're with your child at the park, and they're playing with some other children on the playground. They're running around, they're going up and down the slide, and they generally seem to be having a good time. As you spend longer periods at the park, you notice that little tussles begin to occur between your child and the other children, where they seem to be having troubles in interacting pro-socially and respecting the other children. You try to use your words to help your child to be more mindful of the other children, but as the situations keep on occurring, it seems like it's not working. And so, you result to using timeouts. You say to the child that you need a timeout because you aren't playing with these children in a way that is very respectful. And so, they come sit with you at the bench for three to five minutes. After those three to five minutes, they go back to play, and it seems like it's okay. But after a little while, these tussles begin to happen again. And so, once again, you give them a timeout, and they need to sit with you. After the timeout, they go back to play, and it seems like it's okay, but after a while, they begin to have these tussles again. And so you say to your child, do you still want to play? Because if you aren't able to play respectfully, then we're going to leave. Your child then looks at you and says, okay, then we'll go. Think for a second of what might be going through this child's mind, and what might these timeouts be communicating to this child? to distinguish between right and wrong, good and bad, and other opposites in our world is very important. They help us in our interactions with other people and different situations. But in order to do so, we not only need to know that there is a difference between the two, but rather what those differences are and how to engage with those differences. When we use things like timeouts or we focus on consequences, then children aren't given the space to understand what the differences are. And so, for this child, they knew that what they were doing was bad, that you didn't appreciate it, and the other children didn't appreciate it. But, in asking them to sit in a timeout and then not doing anything after, then they're going to focus on that being the main message, instead of thinking about what they can do with these bad interactions, and how they can think about them deeper, or how they can go back, reevaluate, and then maybe adjust the way they're interacting so that they don't have to be in a timeout. Often, when we use things like timeouts and consequences, they end up becoming things that children just accept, and they're okay with it. It doesn't end up having much of an effect, nor does it help them to understand what is really going on. And so, giving children the space to understand the difference between good and bad, right and wrong, is more important than just giving them a consequence when they aren't good, or when they aren't doing something that is right. We would much rather have children not only be able to distinguish between the two, but then to know what to do with either one as they are able to slowly understand why certain things are right and wrong, good or bad, then 
they are able to develop an understanding for themselves of how they want to interact in ways that can then support them. They then aren't confined within a box of opposites, rather supported by an understanding of the world that we live in. This understanding then helps them to engage more pro-socially and ultimately to watch, think, be, 